Hey, what's going on everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And today we're jumping into the world of aunties. Yes, this is the recap of episode three, I believe, of the auntie podcast. This is the episode with the baddies. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are returning to the channel, welcome back, Pooh. Like and share to help a small channel grow. And of course, to support your homegirl. Now, this is my first time watching the auntie podcast on Zeus Network. It is hosted by Tokyo Tony, Tia Kemp, and Carlissa, which all of them are related to um, hip-hop entities. Tia is connected to Rick Ross, Carlissa is connected to Blueface, and um, Tokyo Tony is connected to Black China. So they have a podcast on Zeus. I haven't really been watching because, you know, I was like, hey, what is it going to give for me? But a lot of people have been saying that it's really funny and I did get to see that tonight. Of course I tuned in because we cover the baddies and I wanted to see if they were going to say anything of interest. It is like a 40 minute segment and I'm going to tell you some highlights from it. This won't be an exact breakdown of the complete episode but it's just going to be highlights from what stood out from that episode. Now before I talk about the baddies, I'm going to talk about the host because a part of me not tuning into the series was because I was not simply um, ultimately pulled by the three hosts. But after watching, I have thoughts on all three of them. I'll start with Tokyo Tony. Watching the interview, I definitely have to say she stood ground when it came to her trying to get answers out of the ladies, trying to um, make dialogue, trying to get to those deeper details. She did ask a lot of fan related questions um, of course she was gaslit by Natalie saying don't believe the internet the internet is always false which okay Natalie um, I do think Tokyo Tony is a good host actually she was trying to get to the deeper details relatable you know what I'm saying I'm passionate able to throw in shade and bring it back around to the realm of light I guess that's the balance Libra in her I definitely can say Tokyo did her thing as a host on the auntie podcast now Tia Kemp Tia Kemp is someone who's new to me I've never heard of her since her online antics began then I heard of her you see what I'm saying I'm seeing her on this podcast Tia I have respect for you because towards the end of the podcast um, she spoke some realness to the ladies specifically I want to say Natalie Tia was keeping it real with her and I can appreciate some things that she said on, on the lines of She's employing a lot of women, you know, it is opportunities out there, but you know, it doesn't always have to go to a physical swim, observe it. And I noticed that um, they said she's a Scorpio. It could go back to that, but she noticed um, Natalie's ways in the interview. Like she said, oh, Natalie must be getting nervous. She's picking up that purse. I like people like that who can notice the smaller details. So Tia, yes, I know you was like that, sis, but I should have known, but I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? So Tia, cool. Carlissa, she is someone who I definitely, I would say, met the most through covering Krishan and Blueface. I've seen a lot of her coverage, even Callie now on Baddies. When it come, came to Carlissa, she gave me exactly what I see online, which was comfortable. And I'll tell you why, because like it wasn't a level of, I won't know what she's bringing. It was exactly what she delivers online, her rant videos. Are, it was that, but it was a wholesome version of that. You see what I'm saying? She was able to stand up for her daughter you know, throwing a joker tail you know my daughter washed you my daughter needs to take over then she would just laugh it off a little bit but I think all three of them actually work I know right I actually didn't mind them so ultimately all three ladies did very well and I think all three were needed to combat the baddies we did get a lot now before going into it let me just tell you guys a little bit of what was covered we have heart disease we have warrants, yes. We have one of them, I guess, 
being deflective but maybe starting to see the light through the shade because towards the end of the episode the three hosts had a conversation with Natalie about transparency and I'm going to speak to you guys about that because you know it was real and I hope she caught that because people can see that she a robotic AO but anyway um, the interview consisted of the ladies talking to the baddies about themselves and of course the franchise who's your favorite um, what was your favorite season we don't even get that but they did ask them so I'll just go through the ladies um, let's start with Scotty now Scotty of course this episode I can say she did good I can definitely tell they got towards they got to Scotty towards the end of the interview she got very snippy with Tokyo Tony um, but throughout this interview what did I learn more of Scotty well I, the only fans she said that she works out she said I could work you out now my thing with that y'all know I'm going to talk on it why has she yet to drop the name the the link the Addy it's like she was promoting the only fans more than a workout business but it is what it is um, of course she was looking for liquor the positives of it she said that um, you know I guess baddies has turned her up a notch imperative because when they were talking about baddie south when natalie was bringing her on natalie said scotty definitely wasn't the same scotty we see now um they did bring up who she's dating she laughed it off they asked her did she have any any add-on she laughed it off but the big part i took away from it was um scotty was basically thrust into this world and is trying to figure it out you know what i'm saying i do think there is something there something real with her but I also feel like um, there is, a, I want to say, a veil. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is, but even when Natalie mentioned her warrant, she was like, why would you do that? Which is true. Natalie was throwing a lot of stuff out, but that's her deflection. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to speak on that too, but out of everything Scotty said tonight, do I think I learned more of her? A little. You know, it was a little vulnerability. Um, you know, out of all three, I can say maybe she was the most open to the experience, but I didn't really learn too, too much more on Scotty. But girl, get that warrant cleaned up, sis. <laughs> Scotty was cute. Um, they didn't like her hair or her outfit, but I do think she was cute. The aunties kept talking about I That's what got her the hair towards the end of the episode Tokyo no Carlissa Carlissa said don't you ever wear your hair like that again and that's when Scotty was like girl don't you ever color your hair like that again because Carlissa had on an orange wig the next person I'm going to talk about is Sister Rose. Roly, um, they talked about her surgery and things like that. And she said that she didn't do it for insecurities or stuff like that. She did it for health. She said once she finished One More Chance, um, the boyfriend she had at the time passed away. So when she went home, she was eating. She ate, ate, ate. She said she gained a lot of weight. Ultimately, she went the surgical route because she was lazy. Roly did admit that she was lazy. When um, Tokyo and them was asking the ladies, what's their age that they want to finish with baddies? Roly said 33 or 34. She wants to be finished doing reality. And she wants to go to scripted work. And I said, that's so crazy because Scotty said she wants to go to scripted as well. And I remember at one time we thought that Zeus was going to switch to Zeus scripted series, but it doesn't look like. And even when um, X and Natalie, when they would stop, she said she'll do it till she's 101. She just feel like she want to keep doing it till she can't no more. You see what I'm saying? Roly mentioned, um, of course, people talking about her being a star overnight. I did like Roly in this interview because she has her own mind. Roly was smiling a lot, of course, being, you know, Roly. But it was some things that Natalie would say, like, aunties need to get off the internet and stop doing this stuff and stuff like that. And they would go to Roly, right, and say, Roly, why is she saying that and doing that? Roly was like, I don't know. I don't think y'all need to get off the internet. Y'all fine. I like that. She can hang around Natalie and not agree with everything she says which I can see now Scotty does it but not as um, blatant as Roly because towards the end of the episode once again they mentioned that Natalie has spit out her juice when they said does Scotty go down on Natalie and they said well if you didn't go down on her why did Natalie spit out all her juice when we asked you do you go down on women that was a big thing about them sleeping with each other they asked that a lot 
and um, Scotty was like because Natalie's a weirdo like that so I think they're pretty much aware of her and Roly's addition to this interview I can definitely say was cool because Roly kept it real to her degree she talked about her dancing depression EBT did I learn more of Roly than I knew before? It's hard for me. You know what I'm saying? Because I cover their tea. So for me, no. Everything she mentioned besides the heart disease was the reason why um, I feel like... Because she... That's the thing. She could have mentioned that on her show. I didn't even know why she didn't mention that on her show. But at any rate, Roly's piece was cool. Now, the last person I'm going to talk about is Natalie, of course. And it was a lot of deflection. I don't have many notes. Um, Tia and Carlissa did mention that Natalie is way more humane and tolerable when she's with her mother and child. I mean, when she's with her husband and child. And when Carlissa and Tia were saying that, I was so confused and bewildered because I said, when has Natalie shown that side of, I mean, they must know her off camera. That's what I was thinking because I'm like, when have we seen her subtle or soft, but they was clocking her tea child all through the interview natalie was using her power of deflection like i told y'all against tokyo against carlissa but it was something about tia it was something about the camp that's what i'm talking about y'all that's that scorpio energy that water tea she told natalie for this next era and i think it was tokyo too it might was tokyo yeah it was all three of them really tokyo tia and carlissa now that i'm thinking about it it was one of them mentioned it first though might was Carlos or Tia, but it's something about her veil. They said for Natalie to be going at the rate she's going, which is very powerful right now. They said there's a level of transparency that's going to be needed to get her to the next level. And I hope she received it because you can see she was moving her hair, flipping her hair. That's that's signs of deflection for y'all who don't know. Picking up that person, stuff like that. Keep moving. When somebody try and talk to you, I'm telling y'all, listen to your own girl. They told her to get to this next level. There's a level of transparency that you're going to need. And they said being soft with your daughter, your husband, people can appreciate that. And that's when Tokyo said, what y'all mean? She human? She act like a human? Carlissa said, no, she does not. She said everything in her life can't be about money and getting to a bag, especially when you, a.k.a. have found it. And I was sitting there listening to her and I was taking it in as a viewer that your whole existence can't be getting to whatever this bag is. You have to produce more. And Natalie said that. Um, when all the baddies come together, it's like gold. She can't pick one who's her favorite. We all get along. I think that's phony. But I honestly, after seeing this and seeing how Roly and Scotty have learned to deal with Natalie, I don't think she can help it. And I'm being real, y'all. Watching her from, what, ATL to now, because these are the examples I have. From what I can see, I don't think the girl can help it. I, I really don't know what it is if it's a perfection thing or because um one part of the interview Tokyo said that mind you it was a lot of funny moments I'm probably gonna miss some it was a lot of funny moments from Scotty searching for liquor um rummaging through the liquor bottles jokes they was telling each other um it was just a lot of fun but ultimately I don't know if she's gonna take their advice and be more transparent because Tia said it's a few glimpses and I'm glad Tia said that it's a few glimpses on baddies that you can see the more human side of Natalie but it's not too often and all of them was clocking her tea she couldn't do anything else but sip her tea you know what I'm talking about Roly was laughing Scotty was laughing because it's true even and all of them shady for real because they was when the ladies would ask them like fan questions like are you doing this did y'all sleep with each other they always would look around and say no no like that child of course they asked Natalie about the Curtis situation child she beat around the bush who's Curtis who's Curtis Tokyo say you getting a divorce no I love it at home you know what I'm saying y'all it's very should I say childlike responses I don't know but it is what it is. It's what we would expect to get from her. Ultimately, do I think you should race to see this interview? No. The tea is lukewarm. You won't be getting... I mean, look, the hottest thing you're going to get is um, 
Roley saying it was for heart disease. Scotty got a warrant. Natalie still see through. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it is what it is. But ultimately, I think the ladies are doing a great job. They did say next week that they would have Sydney Starr's boyfriend on the show. So we're going to see what that's given if I tune in. But you guys comment below and let me know what you thought about this episode if you did watch. If you did not watch, you ain't miss much, Jack. I will be back with the Baddies Caribbean recap. Stay locked to the channel because I will keep you up to date with all the latest tea. And remember this, do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.